I hope you liked that little intro. Um, so yeah, basically guys, in this episode, what we are going to be doing is we have loads of unboxing, guys. So actually, um, we have microphone unboxing, capture card unboxing and setup, and monitor unboxing and setup, guys. So all these three, um, sets of videos out, and then we got a special surprise at the end of this, guys. You guys will find out later what that is. So anyways, I hope you enjoy, and I will see you soon, guys. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got some Xbox gameplay, too, guys. So, I hope you do enjoy this video, and I will see you next time, or later. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I just want to tell you something. Um, for all of these epic unboxings, they have different, um, sub-special things, basically. So I've said different things, 20 sub, 30 sub, or actually not really 30 sub, but 20 sub, um, maybe 30 sub on the monitor, all this kind of stuff, but 25s, um, but don't pay attention to that, you guys all know that this is our 30 sub special, sorry about that guys, but I've, these videos have been, um, like they've been in publishing for a long time now, so I've had those parts in my videos. Um, I can't cut those out because those are halfway to my videos most times, so that would kind of ruin it. Um, but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless, just ignore that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. So, you also might see these, these are, it's a special, uh, thing right now, that you're seeing these epic unboxings and showcases in this. So these are not out on my channel yet, they will be eventually, but right now, they are only going to be on this video, so make sure that you check them out while you can. Okay? Thank you! Bye! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Epic Unboxing, guys. In this episode, what we're going to be unboxing, guys, we're un be unboxing my new microphone, guys, and this is from Amazon. Um, I ordered this, and it came in, and by the way, guys, um... This is obviously you're watching the, uh, my 20 sub special right now, and I hope you do enjoy this. Um, this I bought this because of my 20 subs because I wanted to get better quality and whatnot. Um, so yeah, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna just unbox it, and yeah, it's gonna be all good. So we're gonna grab our um, our little cutting tool here. Make sure, guys, all kids must be supervised by a parent or adult. Make sure when using a blade or scissors or anything to cut this. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to slice it right down the middle. Um, if we can uh, actually slice it. Here we go. Let's just, uh, come on. Slice, slice, there we go. Okay, guys, we're just going to keep slicing this all the way down. Done. So now we slice that. And we also need to slice this part of the box. Get it in. Get this tape off. Just rip the tape. Rip it. There we go. And we're just going to make sure the blade is in, so we don't cut ourselves any other time. Okay, guys, so we've ripped this up now. We've unboxed the entire thing. So this part of the box is unboxed. Now we're going to go over to the next part, and we're going to unfold it like this. And we're unfolding these little things. Here we go, guys. Let's set the knife aside. And we're going to take out this plastic wrapping that comes with it, guys, uh, to make sure it's packaged right. And here we go, guys, the big reveal. Do, 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 do. So this is our little condenser microphone, guys. Um, so this, that's what it's called. It's called the condenser microphone. It's by Sohana or Soon Hua. That's what I yeah. It's, and it's a condenser microphone. It has a pretty nice microphone style there, as you can see. It has a pretty nice stand. It's kind of like a tripod type stand. It opens up, and then it has the coupling to hold this microphone. And then it also has a foam red piece right there that you stick over this for the spit cover. Um, so the spit does not go into your actual microphone. So this is a really big improvement to what I have. It's going to help a lot. And yeah, we're going to finish unboxing this. So let's get this junk out of the way. Okay, so now guys, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and take this... Uh, since we need a stand for this stuff, we're going to take this box, and this is what you can use if you ever need a stand for something. Use this, and then you just stick the box like that down there, and then you just stick the item on top. There we go, guys. So now you can see that. What we're going to do is we're going to start unboxing this real quick. So we're going to take this end, and I know this is kind of quick. We're going to take this end, and we're going to 
take up these flaps right here. Because as you can see, there's quite a bit of flaps for this. So it's, I like those kinds of things. So this is the backing, and we're going to set that aside. Now we got our real stuff, guys. So we got our tripod. So we're going to take out this tripod, and it has the foam piece stuck in it. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take this foam piece, and we're going to slide it out. So if we can slide it out, maybe, maybe not, slide it out. Okay, guys, we got the foam piece out. That's all out. So now we just, um, see now it's like all wrinkly and everything. So we're going to have to stretch it out by using the actual microphone itself in a minute. We're going to have to stretch it out. But now, guys, we got the little stand. So this turns back and forth. Um, these also come out like this, and they come out and they stay. See, see, look, ready, ready, I'm pulling a little, and then it pops out. So it stays, and it's a pretty nice stand, like this, and they can hold it. So that really does give you a good capability of being supported. And it clicks together for easy package use. So we're going to set these two items aside, and we're going to take out the actual microphone. So first things first, we need to take out this cord. So the actual cord that plugs in is going to be is in here. So we're going to take that out, and we're going to just quickly set this out. So there we go, guys. Here's the end of the cord. It goes into your... Um, your mic jack into your computer and then you take the mic we're gonna actually take the mic out now and it comes with this nice plastic piece that has a little indent in it so you can take out the cord and the cord's not hurting anything it's not getting hurt so there we go guys we got our uh, Sona microphone so it's a really really nice microphone you can hold it in your hand like this there's indents in it to make sure that you can actually put your thumb like this you can be like hello everybody and stuff like that so we're going to set all this packaging aside and we're going to take out the components now so we first have the microphone itself with its wrapped up cord and its cord end and then we also have the stand and then we have the foam piece which is still wrinkly so you know what we're going to do we're going to stick it over and we're going to um, we're going to put it in over the microphone, so then we can do that. Actually, we'll do that in a minute, because it's hard to get on. Anyway, um, so, yeah, we got the foam protector piece, we got the microphone, and we got the stand. That's what comes with it. And it's an easy-to-use microphone. It's, again, it's a condenser microphone, and it's by, uh, Soon Hua, or Soon Ha, whatever. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and stay tuned for the next part of my subscriber, um, special. So, yeah, thank you, guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another part of our 25 sub special now, guys. You're probably wondering why I said 20 sub special a long time ago. Yeah, well, I changed it to the 25 sub special, so that's going to be more fitting as we do at 25 subs. So, guys, basically, um, yeah, you're going to be seeing this. Sorry for that part, but it is really a 25 sub right now. So basically, guys, as you can see, we're doing another unboxing. Now, you saw our microphone before, and now you're going to be seeing the capture card, guys. So this, basically, what I did is I bought a microphone and a capture card. Um, the microphone is to be used with the capture card and my actual computer. But also, this capture card is to use to play Xbox gameplay, which, guys, means that we're going to be doing Xbox Let's Plays now. So that's going to be really cool. It's going to expand a lot of stuff on our channel, change it up a little bit. So, I have a feeling that you guys are going to enjoy this a lot. Um, so, we're going to get right on into it. Um, so, yeah. Basically, what we're going to do is this is going to be an unboxing video, and then we're going to have another part where we set it up. So, right now, we're just going to unbox this thing. So, we got this straight from Amazon, guys. Um, this was about $70. Um, and it was from Diginow. It was a capture card. So, we're going to just grab ourselves my little blade here, and we're just going to cut right down the middle of this thing. And we're gonna cut open this little part that we need. So let's uh, let's set away the knife, close it, and set it away. Okay, we're gonna rip this open. There we go. And rip the other side. There we go. So now we're gonna fold this part down, fold it down, fold it down, and fold it down. Okay, we got all four parts folded down, guys. So now we just got this shipping material. So we're gonna take out this first part of the shipping material, second part of the shipping material. And you should see something inside there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly take this thing out. Um, we're going to set it to the side so you don't see it. And then we're going to flip the box over, guys. So let's flip this box over. There we go. So now we got our little, um, our little stand for this. So basically, guys, we're going to set this right down. And we're going to set it down now. Okay, guys, here we go. So we're going to flip it down. 
And here we go, as you see, it says the HD video capture card. Or not really capture card, it just says video capture. We're going to rip off this nice plastic that it's with. Um, it seems to have a nice plastic. There we go. Okay, so guys, now what we're going to do is we are going to, um, we're going to set this plastic stuff over to the side with our, uh, packing material right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uncase this. So let's just slide it, guys. Come on, slide, 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 come out. It's coming out, guys. There we go. So now, guys, look at this. We got the HD video capture card right here. Um, it's a nice little case. It's a nice hard uh, case right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the first part of this. Now, guys, if you don't know, this is like a Y cord thing. So this plugs into the actual capture card, and it has a bunch of cables down here to plug stuff into. So we're going to set that aside. We're going to use that later for the... Um, we're going to use that for our setting up time, guys. So we're going to set up two things during that. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, we're going to set up two things, guys. We're going to set up the Wii, and we are also going to set up our Xbox. So first is going to be Xbox all the stuff. So next thing we're going to unbox here, we're going to take out this nice HDMI cord that came with it, guys. It's very handy dandy, and it's our nice HDMI cord. So there we go. We're going to set that down. Then we take out this part, and I believe, yes, this is, guys, this is our charger, or our adapter cord, and this end plugs into the actual capture card, and then this end plugs into the wall. Next, guys, we unpart, as you can see, there's a little hole in the center, and we pull this part out. So let's pull this entire thing out. There we go. So, guys, now we got a little, like, box. It's kind of like a tissue box, um, and then we got the ending box, and we're going to stick that over there. So guys, now this little like tissue box like thing is where our capture card is. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to untake this piece off and we're going to slide it out guys. I'm going to slide it all out. Okay, here we go. Perfect guys. So what, okay, look what we need to do. So as you can see, we have our little teeny um, USB DVD maker. It's a little teeny disc that comes with it. Then we also have this little digit now um stuff little pamphlet like we'd like to hear from you um we have got some little instructions here and this is the more instructions the actual capture box and guys here's the actual capture card itself we're going to take off this bubble wrap real quick um let's take off the uh tank real quick and the bubble wrap is coming off it has a nice little pocket for it i'm going to take it right out guys here we go the HD video capture card, guys. Look, it has the USB host right here for the USB to go into. Okay. Then we have the line in and out and the mic little port right here. Then we have the little LED light next to the recording button. You flip it around. And under here, you got the little fan and everything. And then it says, did you now? And then right here, it's the output and the input. And then this, uh, those, like, bunch of cables, the YPB, uh, PR input, and then the P, uh, PWR, um, jack for the plug to go into. So, guys, this is our little capture card. Um, we have just unboxed the entire thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut over to the next part of the video, which is showing you how to set this up, guys. Okay, so I'm going to roll that clip now. Okay, guys, so as you can see, here is our little HD uh, video capture card right now. We have it on our box stand. We're also just going to move away all this stuff. Um, but as you can see right here, we got all of our piles of stuff. And basically, guys, thank you for watching that last part of the unboxing video. Now, guys, this part of the video is the setup for it to set it up to the TV. Right now, guys, we're actually going to do the Xbox 360. We are not going to do the Wii. That's going to be a totally different episode of how to do it. But right now, we're just going to hook up the Xbox, and we will show you what to do, guys. Okay, so basically, we're going to go right on into it and take out this stuff. So, let's take our HD video capture card. Let's take this, and let's set it up here next to our TV. As you can see, guys, we got our TV right here. And then that's our little sensor bar for the Wii. And then right down here is our Xbox 360, guys. So there is our Xbox 360, and what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to set up the stuff. So basically, let's go over here, let's take out the 
um, record box and all of this stuff. We're going to take all these papers and we're going to set them right there. Okay, now we're also going to take out this um, adapter cord for to plug it in. We're also going to take out the HDMI cord. But we are actually going to leave that um, Y cord in there just because we're not going to be using it right now. So we're going to keep that stuff there and we're going to go over to the next part. Okay, guys. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take our little... Um, what is it? Our little HD capture card. Sorry for that. Um, we're going to take all this stuff and we're going to unpack it, guys, and we will be right back. Right back. Okay, guys, so we're back. I'm sorry for that background noise. There is a uh, leaf blower, or sorry, yeah, leaf blower going on in the background right now. But anyway, guys, we are going to take our cord, our power adapter, and we are going to, as you can see, face it over here. Just like face it down. Come on, come on, just like, face it down. Okay, there we go. So we're going to take our power adapter cord, we're going to unravel this thing, and we are going to plug it in, so we're going to stick it in like that, and then go over here, and then we're going to take our box, or capture card, we're going to plug it into the PWR spot, plug it right in, boom, guys, we plugged it in, done, okay. So now it's fully plugged in, guys. What it's going to do now is it's, it's now getting power and signal from the actual um, power, basically. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this HDMI cord. Okay, we're going to take this HDMI cord. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking. What are we going to be doing with this? Well, I'm going to inform you exactly what we're going to be doing this. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're basically going to move this capture card as much as we can. So let's move this entire thing, this entire little setup of camera, and we're going to move this thing as far as we can closest to the, um, to the Xbox, guys, because we need to have it close to the Xbox. So basically, the capture card's ready now. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take this, the one end of it, and we're going to put it into the input. We're going to put it into the input slot on the opposite side, guys. Now we're going to take this end of the cord. And we're going to go all the way over here to our Xbox. Going to go all the way over here to our Xbox. We're going to pull out our Xbox a little bit till you see that blue HDMI cord right down there. Now that is connecting to the TV. So we got to unplug this, guys. Got to unplug that one. And now what we need to do is we need to plug this in instead of it. So let's uh, move till we can see it. And our HDMI is right here. Okay, hold up, hold up. HDMI is right here, guys. So we're literally just going to reach over here. And we're going to plug this thing in. Sorry for the weird camera angle. i got to plug it in. Okay, it's plugged in now. Perfect. So now since that's plugged in, we're going to move the Xbox back. Because now it's fully plugged in. And it's plugged into the capture card so we can move this thing all back um move the entire thing all back there we go guys okay so now it's fully back that's exactly where it should be the capture card has the cord going all the way to the xbox now so now what we're going to do guys is we're going to take the actual ca uh, the actual hdmi cord from the tv that we literally just unplugged that blue cable we're going to take that and we're going to bring it around the top of the tv guys Bring it around, or not the top of the TV, but bring it around the side. So we're going to bring it all around here. And then we're going to go under this part of the TV, guys. So we're going to make sure it goes around it. We're going to go under this part of the TV. We're going to set that down there. There we go. Um, now we are going to take the input part of this. As you can see, this is the output, and this is the input. We're going to put the uh, this part in the output. Um, so now it's going to the TV that's set up right there. So basically, guys, what we just did there is we have the input black cable going all the way into the Xbox. Then we have the output, the blue cable, going all the way into the TV, guys. So that's basically where it's going. And we have that already. And now, like, one of the last things I think we need to do is we need to plug in our USB host, guys. So basically what we need to do is we need to get the signal feeding. So what we're going to 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this right here, this uh, tripod right here. Leave that right there. Guys, we're gonna head over here. We're gonna grab ourselves my Xbox controller. We're gonna grab my TV remote. Um, we're turning on my TV right now. And the Xbox is also turning on. Um, I believe that it is, yes it is, it's on Xbox, guys. As you can see, it is on the Xbox 360 loading screen here. So there we go. Now it's loading up. And as you can see, guys, we're still receiving a signal now. Because had we not been receiving a signal, we would not have been seeing the, um, the Xbox screen right now. So right now we're actually seeing the Xbox screen. We would not have been seeing that, um before if this has not been working so now guys you know it's working so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here guys and we're gonna go walk all the way over and we're gonna grab ourselves our USB drive we're gonna walk all the way back over we're gonna go right here to it um now let's undo this so we're gonna push that down so we have the USB right there and we're going to stick the USB plug it in now you can see guys the USB is flashing red. USB is flashing red. And we are ready to record guys. So what we're gonna do guys is we are going to go ahead and go downstairs. We're gonna go grab myself a microphone and I will be right back and then we will test it out guys. Um or we will go plug the microphone in. So basically right now as you can see it's plugged into the um it is plugged right here into the memory drive is plugged in so that's you can see that and we're going to go ahead and test this so we're gonna hit record as you can see guys the red light just turned on that means it's recording and the um, the light on my flash drive is recording or it's it's putting memory on it as you can see so um, right now we are basically don't even have any voice we're just recording this screen right here so yeah basically guys that means that we have stuff and we're gonna hit the record button again to stop it that stopped right there my flash drive stopped doing it the light just turned off and we're all good guys so but guys basically what we're gonna do here is um we're gonna do this is the last part of the episode so or not the last part this is the last part of the unboxing and what we're gonna do guys is we are gonna go into some xbox gameplay and you will find out what that is uh you might already know i might have already said in one of the vi things before but you're gonna see that and anyway guys we will be right back hello everybody and welcome back to another um unboxing video thing so guys basically this is a gigantic box, as you can see. I don't even know if the entire thing fits in the camera. Um, but basically, it's a gigantic box. And this is my new monitor, guys. So we're having a brand new monitor to add on to my amazing little gaming setup I have with my one laptop. So now we're going to be adding on a brand new monitor. So guys, this is probably the biggest unboxing I'm ever going to do um, until I get bigger and I get better stuff. But right now, we're going to take our little handy-dandy... Um, which I just dropped a handy dandy knife here and we just undid this thing so we're going to lock it into place so it doesn't move around and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this whole thing so let's just go cut this whole slit all the way down the center there we go guys so now since we got that we're going to take the knife we're going to close this part up and we're going to push it all the way down there we go so now that's not going to hurt us what we're going to do is we're going to rip this part open on each side. We're going to rip it open. I'm just going to move over here on the opposite side. Rip it open. And rip it open. Oh, no. Okay. We're out of troubles. Boom. Done. Okay. I just couldn't get a good hand on that. Okay. So, guys, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to fully open this box. So first we're going to get the first flap down. First flap down. We got, looks like we got a lot of packaging in here. Grab the second flap, flip it down. Third flap. And fourth flap, guys. Okay, well the fourth flap we can't actually put down fully, but whatever. Guys, so that full thing is done. Now we're going to take out this wrapping paper. Just take out all this wrapping paper. Sorry for the loud noise, we're just going to throw that over there. 
perfect. Okay, guys, so now, now we got the real good thing, guys. We have got, so basically, guys, what this is, is this is an A, an Asus uh, monitor. It is a 27-inch uh, 1080p high definition. This is built for gaming, guys. It's really good. Um, full HD, all that good stuff. LED, brightness, all of that good stuff, guys. So we got so much stuff, and it's one, um, one, like, speed. So basically, it can go so fast with frames. So this is such a good monitor, guys. Such a good monitor. So what we're going to do, guys, is now, since we have this thing, what we're going to do is we're going to take our, or we're going to first not take our knife. We're first going to take it out of the box here. And this is going to be heavy because this is a heavy thing. It's, it's a monitor. Now, this guy's was interesting trying to move it into this room right now. Um, and you might recognize some stuff of this room. And you guys can write in the comments what you think this room is. So, um, here we go. Perfect, guys, look at that. So we got the empty box. We're going to shove the box over there. Don't need that anymore. Now, we got our big Asus. Uh, it's a VS278 LCD monitor. Um, just like I said, 1MS, uh, trace-free, full HD, 1080p, um, 80, um, 80 million high contrast. 80 million to one high contrast LED backlight HDCP support and splendid video intelligence technology guys and ASUS inspiring innovation persistence perfection so this is what we got guys basically we got this tape down here and we're gonna flip it down but the first thing we need to do guys first thing we need to do is we need to move this thing out of the way because I you know how I just took this box right so we're gonna take this box now and we're going to use it as a stand. So this is what you can do, guys. You fold it in. You fold in all four flats. And then you flip it over. You flip it over like this. Perfect. Now you've got your own little stand. And then you just take your monitor or whatever you're unboxing. You stick it on top. And it gets full coverage support right there, guys. Now we're going to take our handy-dandy uh, little cutting tool here. Put the safety lock on and just slit down this entire thing. Now, guys, when you are cutting stuff, make sure that you have an adult or a parent helping you. Um, and make sure you always do that. Now, I know I was cutting towards myself for like one second there. And yes, that is not a thing you're supposed to do. I did have to do it though because I could not move to the other side. Um, Same with this, but there we go. So always make sure you either have a parent or adult, all kids should have a parent or adult helping you, guardian, helping you cut all this stuff. But this is a pretty cool monitor, guys. So we're going to unbox the actual monitor here. So let's open up this case. So first things first, first things uh, first is we're going to open this and we're going to bend this back. There we go, guys. We're going to fold it down. First flap down. Second flap down. Third flap down. And fourth flap down. Guys, now we got the styrofoam in here. We got a gigantic. Oh man, it's so staticky. Oh man, I'm getting so staticky. Look. Gigantic staticky um giant piece of star styrofoam. It kinda reminds me of a uh what's it called board? Of uh, like a palette or something. Like you put stuff on. So there we go guys. The the styrofoam is that is out of the way. So styrofoam's out of the way. Oh, guys, you see this this plastic wrap? This is our actual monitor right here on the surface. Oh, this is cool, guys. Okay, so we're going to be really extremely careful with this. We're going to take the actual monitor out right now. Oh, oh, oh. oh, baby, guys. This thing, though, looks so nice. Okay, this is going to be a challenge. we got to take this. Thing. Right now, we're not going to take it out of the actual package. We're just going to set it here on the side. Just going to set it on the side. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this nice, handy-dandy styrofoam here, and we're going to make sure that this thing is fully protected. So we're actually going to set this thing kind of over the side, guys. Now, you're not watching this right now. I know you're not seeing this part. But we are going to actually flip it over. And so on the styrofoam because we want this thing to be fully protected. 
when it's in like this little shipping area. Okay, so guys, now that is fully protected. Can't really show you, it's too heavy, it would break the styrofoam. Um, now we're going to grab this whole gigantic piece out of the styrofoam. Grab it out. Come on. Guys, it's hard to slide out, so you got to grab from like both ends, all four ends and everything. And try to slide it out. Uh, mainly just try to get one of like the big parts out. There we go. Okay, we got it, guys. Now we got a giant like piece of styrofoam with a bunch of compartments. We're going to throw that over the other end. Okay, and there we go. Loud noises. Okay. Now, guys, we got a bunch of cords in the box. Um, you're not going to be able to see these, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take them out and show them up. So, we have this big uh, metal disc here, and I believe this is the stand, guys, that we can screw in. So, this is our stand, and we're going to set this off to the side. Next thing, we have our nice HDMI cable, guys. Is that our HDMI? Is that HDMI? I believe it is, guys. Yeah, I think that's our HDMI right there. So, that's cool. And then the next thing is okay this is our aux cable guys so it came with a nice aux cable i think this is for to plug in speakers so you can plug in different kinds of speakers in this um so that's gonna be really cool and also another thing that it came with i think um okay well actually we're gonna have to pause it here for a minute we'll be um we'll be right back guys okay guys so we're right back sorry about that um next thing we're gonna grab out of the bag is oh this is the power cord guys so it actually has a built-in adapter for the power so it automatically does it uh, adapts to the power now this guys no never mind this is our HDMI as you can see the one input for HDMI right there that's actually your HDMI no wait HDMI to uh, I believe this is a DC wow that's actually pretty cool guys it was a lot of different cables that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, now the last things we're going to grab out are the instructions books and the... Okay, so that's the ASUS VIP membership notice. We're going to grab that out. All that good stuff. So, I believe, guys, I believe what, what this is, this is a return... Yeah, yeah, this is a return thing that you get um, a rebate for. So, basically, guys, we're going to get the little start guide here. The introduction, so the Asus VS278 series LCD monitor, um, quick start guide, all that good stuff. So now we're going to open it up. Oh, whoa, it's a giant, like, package type thing, guys. So we're going to check on what, where's English and everything. Oh, whoa, guys, it unfolded to a gigantic thing. So basically, I'm believing, I don't actually know where it's supposed to start. Okay, well, that's a big thing. That's a really big packet, guys. So, anyway, this is what came inside it, guys. We are going to do a thorough unboxing or uh, setup video uh, right after this. So, you guys are going to be seeing that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the setup of my new VS278 um, Asus LCD monitor guide. So basically, if you saw my unboxing of this, make sure to definitely check it out if you have not. But it was really cool, and um, I'm using a different camera, and I'm doing this on a tripod and everything. So yeah, that's cool. So basically, guys, we're going to be doing this um, awesome, hooking this monitor up to my laptop over here, guys. So this is my gaming laptop. It's not really a gaming laptop. It's just a laptop, normal. Um, this way, I used to game and edit and everything else. So now I'm going to have a second monitor to do more things. So that's perfect, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything that they gave us. So basically, we're going to take this gigantic instructions sheet, and we're going to try to make some sense of it. So I don't know how much sense this is really going to make, but, you know, we're going to try it anyway. Okay. So basically, what this is seeming to me is you have to get the screws in the right way and everything. So I have to get some screws first. All that good stuff. So, it's showing me some cords and everything, guys. I know you're just looking at the regular thing. But it's showing me even bit, uh, some things to do with it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, I'm just looking at all the stuff you need to do. So, I think what we need to do right now is just try to set it up. So, let's, let's try to do that, guys. So, let's set the instructions off to the side right now. We're going to grab our cords. So, first thing we're going to unpack, guys, we're going to unpack the aux cable. So let's undo this um, 
Actually, we're gonna go grab our handy dandy scissors over here. Um, Cause we got scissors to cut all this stuff. So that's gonna be nice. So here we go, just uh, snip, snip. And we'll pick up the plastic later. So there we go, guys. We're unpackaging this right now. There we go, plastic. Um, you know, litter guys, but there we go. So we got our aux cable, so we're gonna set that down by the side. Next thing we're gonna unpack is the HDMI to, um, or the D3 to the D3, I believe. That's what it is. Here we go. Um, we're gonna undo this. We're gonna undo this right now. Okay, so let's set those scissors down and let's unpack this thing. Oh, yeah, guys, there we go. Second thing unpacked. Now, there's a third thing to unpack. This is our HDMI to DVI or whatever. So let's just cut right on through this. Uh, open up a big slit in the bag. Throw this down there. Um, now we need to go and open this thing fully. Now guys, you're probably wondering, should this be an unboxing? No, because I'm just showing you guys the things. Um, I unboxed the thing, I just didn't take out all the supplies. For some reason, all the power cords always come in a plastic baggie. I never know that there's like, an actual plastic baggie that you can actually open and close. I always notice that for some reason. There's probably a reason for that. Okay, so we're gonna take this power cord. Um, the adapter's already inside the actual monitor itself. Um, for slick design, this is our nice, uh, really, it's quite heavy, our stand for the monitor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just rip this packaging open. There we go, guys. We got our stand. Now it probably has a little bubbles on it because it's got a plastic wrap on it. So right now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna leave the plastic wrap on it because we don't want to ruin the actual nice thing. So let's do this and, um, yeah. So that's gonna be pretty cool, actually. Okay, guys, so we got to take our actual thing now. So we got all of those things unpacked now. Now we have to go ahead and take our actual monitor out. So let's do this. So let's um, go ahead and take out our actual monitor out of its nice plastic wrap. So here we go. We can do this. But we're going to take it out by its stand. Um, so first we're going to slide down the plastic wrap, guys. Slide down the plastic wrap. There we go. Just take it out. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. We got it out of the plastic wrap, guys. Throw the plastic wrap away. We're gonna grab this nice, beautiful monitor right here. I'm gonna show it off, guys. Look at that thing. Oh, the Asus monitor, guys. Oh my gosh, yes. This is beautiful, guys. We're gonna grab this monitor here. We're gonna throw this piece of junk over there, and we're gonna set it back down. Now, this is not actually ready to stand up, so we need to set it down for the moment. And first things first is to grab our stand and st stick it on, guys. So we're going to grab this stand right here, and we're going to stick it on to this part right here. So, we're going to line it up, line it up. Um, I think, what does it say down here? It says lock and release. So we want to release it. Yeah, we want it to release it. So let's just uh, push that in, and then we want to lock it. So how do we lock it? We, we lock it by pushing it this way, guys. Oh, this is a pretty cool invention. So we just like kind of swivel it and turn it in, and we have this little like thing to push in. There we go. So look, see guys, you can push it down, and you can just turn it like that, and then push it down, click it in. There we go, guys, we got it on the actual stand. So now let's flip this baby up and stick it on there. Oh! Oh guys, look at that thing right there. Beautiful, brand new monitor right there, guys. We got the plastic, everything's still on it. Oh, it's so nice. So we gotta hook this thing, we gotta hook this baby up right now, guys. So this thing is amazing. Um, we do not have a big cord for the power cord right now. So what we're gonna have to do, since we don't have a big cord for that, I'm gonna have to go um, grab myself a little extension cord, guys, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so we are back right now, and we have got our power cord, we got the extension cord all set up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as you can see guys, we got the monitor flipped around now, so you can see the back side. And what we're going to do with this power cord, since it has a power adapter already built inside, we're going to take the end of the power cord and we're going to stick it in to the actual back of this monitor guys. So there we go, make sure it's tight 
and um, and it's not going to come out because we do not want to lose power to this thing in the middle of something. So we're going to take the um, three prongs, guys, and we're going to slip it over to this extension cord here. Um, now this is not fully fire safe, but you know, I'm, I'm just doing it for the moment. Because I'm going to be moving it over to my actual desk soon. So Okay, there we go, guys. We got power to the monitor now. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this thing all around. And it's going to be all good. So we're going to flip this entire thing around. Um, have the power cord just keep coming with us. Um, because we want to make sure that we don't strain this power cord whatsoever. So we're going to bring the power cord over there. There we go. So power cord's over there. I'm going to make sure all these things are plugged in tight. There we go. Power cord's over there. So now, guys, we've got the entire monitor right here. It is perfectly nice. Um, so now what we need to do, we need to turn it on, guys. So here's the big, big reveal. Is it going to turn on? Uh, and there, oh, there's buttons under here. Ready? Boom! Oh, guys, there's a blue light on it. There's a blue light. Asus, inspiring innovation. Oh, yeah, guys. Woo! Oh, okay. VGA, no signal. And it's going to the next thing. So, guys, it's going to be running through the circuit right now. Um... I believe, yeah, I actually, no, it's not going to be running through the circuit right now. i got to change this thing first to HDMI, so let's see if we can change this. Um, how do we, menu? Me, me, menu? No, no, on? No, okay, uh, so, what, what? Okay, guys, I'm confused, okay. Well, let me see if there's an HDMI port on here first. Let me see. Okay, well, there's an HDMI 1, HDMI 2, but hang on, guys. There's a VGA cord here. There's a VGA cord. I think I know what that's for, guys. Um, so, guys, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to try to figure out what I'm doing, and I'm going to be right back in a second. Okay, guys, so I believe I have some understanding of what I'm supposed to do now. So, basically, what I think I'm supposed to be doing now is either connecting, like, an HDMI cord or something to it, but we actually got this VGA to HDMI cord, and I honestly think that this might actually work. So I'm gonna walk over here because I think that we can take our VGI um, cord here. I think we can plug this in to the outlet, guys. So basically, we're gonna take the VGA cord or whatever, and we're gonna unwind this thing, and let's see if this works. So we're gonna take off this plastic wrap and everything. Don't need this stuff on right now. It's a bunch of felt or a bunch of foam and everything. So we don't need that. Throw it away. Um, okay, we got thing, uh, screws here. We have a little case for this, so we're going to set that on the side. And then we unwind the full thing here. And here we go, guys. Look. We're unwinding it. I can't see how well you guys are actually seeing this right now, but we're going to, we're being, we're unwinding it. There we go. We got the plastic junk. All that's off. We're going to take this VG8, um, this part. And we're going to stick it into the back of the TV, guys. Wait, where does this go? Okay, that doesn't go there. So, where the heck is this supposed to go? Guys, this is the wrong cord that I thought this was. This is not the cord I actually thought it was going to be. Oh, I unpacked the wrong cord, guys. Whoops. Whoopsies. Oh, oh, oh no. Whoops. Yeah, I really did unpack the wrong cord. Okay. So, I did. I unpacked the wrong cord, guys. We were supposed to unpack this, guys. We're supposed to unpack this blue cord. Whoops. I'm so stupid. Because this is on both my computer and everything. Man, I am so dumb sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Since I figured out how dumb I am and I can't read that this that was not the right fitting cord. This is the right fitting cord. Um, We just unwinded it. We're going to take off these little plastic caps and everything. And we're going to go around to the back, guys. So we have the full cord here. We're going to go around to the back here. Um, input, insert the first part of the cord right in here. So we're going to hold this thing while we plug it in. And then we got to take these screws on these sides. And we're going to have to plug these screws in. Let's just keep winding in those screws. Because the more we screw this thing in, the more we, um, what's it called? Like... That means that we're going to have the right source inputs, all that good stuff. So that's all done. Since that part on the TV or the monitor is actually screwed in, that's perfect. Now I need to move over to my actual computer and screw it into the side here. So let's just plug it in. Actually, no, we don't need, we can't plug it in or we can't uh, screw it in. So guys, basically on my computer, we're not, we're not going to be able to screw it in. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 
We plugged in, guys, as you can see, it has the blue cord coming out, um, right over there, the blue cord, and then the blue cord's going in there. So we're going to cross over here, and we're going to press the on button. Okay, the blue light comes on, Asus, uh, inspiring, all that good stuff, so that comes up, and let's see, it does it say no signal? VGA, no signal, but this button right here, guys, this is our input selector. This is our input selector here. HDMI 1, HDMI 2, Display Port, VGA. I think, guys, this is supposed to be a VGA. So I'm confused on what's supposed to happen here. Um, yeah, what is supposed to happen, actually? Because this is supposed to work, guys. I'm very confused. Um, video preset mode. Okay, just uh, select the do desired preset mode. Guys, I'm completely walking into this blind, so we're going to press this button. No, no, nothing. Okay, so I faced it didn't work. So now we're going to move on to the next thing. <laughs> this is so annoying. Okay, um, that's all the stuff we need to do. Now we're going to move on to the next stage because this is, is this really in like 50 million languages? I guess it is. Okay, guys, we're looking for uh, English, so E-N. EN. We're looking for EN, guys. I'm, I'm literally sitting here reading this thing. Connect the audio cable. Blah, 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 blah. Um. Computer's audio out port. Okay, connect. Oh, guys, that's what we need the uh, audio in. Oh, see monitors. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay guys, I'm just trying to look at this thing real quick. Um, we're supposed to be connecting something. So not just play for, um, but VGA we're supposed to be connecting. Um, and the audio in. Guys, I'm very sorry that I'm really taking forever to do this. But we gotta go over here, we gotta take this audio cord. Uh, I'm sorry, this is really, like, annoying. Because we can't do it in, like, one simple step. But I'm just kidding, I mean, why would this be one simple step? It's really a long process. So, we're going to connect the audio inputs here. So, let's connect it to one of the audio inputs. Let's do the front one. And we're going to go all the way over to the back here. Let's connect it to the audio input. So, right here. So, green goes with green. There we go. Audio inputs. VGA is connected. Now, what do we need to do? Let's hit on. No, okay. Ready? Turn it on. Now what's the next thing we need to do? If this doesn't work, because VGA is probably going to say no signal. What do I know? No signal on the VGA, guys. Since that didn't work, I guess we're moving on to the next thing. Okay, um... Ooh. In the OSD menu, guys, in the OSD menu, I'm just reading this right now, it says in the OSD menu, we're going to click on the menu key here. We're going to click on the menu key. So, inputs, HDMI display port, we're going to go to menu. So, boom. Um, boom. Guys, no, nothing's working. Hmm. Nothing's work. Wait, wait. Oh my gosh, guys, how can I be so stupid? I just realized something. We need this whole thing. Oh my gosh, guys, I just realized something. We need to hit FN1 duplicate extend. Please work. Oh, guys, it's working. Oh, it worked. It worked. Oh. It worked, guys! We got through the monitors right now! Oh! Oh, guys! Oh my gosh, this is amazing! Okay, we're moving! We're moving and we're gonna select this buzzer right here. Please work. No, 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 not standard mode. Theater mode. Game mode. Night view. RB, R, um, scenery mode, standard mode, theater mode. I'm putting it on gaming mode, but I'm just gonna try to see something here. So we're going to go to menu, please, please work, menu, okay, splendid, um, yeah, we don't need splendid.
blended, so color, no, image, um, can we make the thing, um, can we, can we do this, please, boom, um, come on, guys, it's, it's not, it's, we're not, we're not getting the full screen here, what's going on, we're trying, we're trying to figure this out, whatever, um, but guys, it seems to be actually working right now, so, hmm, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, I guess we got the thing working for now. Let's see what's going on, why it's only pulling up the regular screen. Let's see what's going on. Guys, ready? We're going to move our mouse from one screen. Oh, <gasps> it goes to the other screen. Hold up, hold up, I got to try this, I got to try this. I'm going to pull this over here. No! No! Oh! Guys! Oh! I got two things! Oh my gosh, that's insane, guys! Oh! This is beautiful. I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm freaking out so much, but I've been waiting for finally having a monitor, and I finally got it, guys, and it's beautiful. Okay, this is working great, guys. So anyway, this has been a little tutorial on how to set it up. I'm sorry it's been so long, um, but I figured it out. You have to connect the um, VGA cord to it. You have to go on your computer, select duplicate. Um, you hit FN, you hit F1, and then you select over to duplicate screens. It splits over, and then you can drag stuff over, all that good stuff, guys. That is really awesome. You have to connect both. You connect the audio inputs to get audio on that side, too. That is great, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to smash that like button down below. Don't forget to comment, and absolutely don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm sorry I've not done a video in a while. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I've been doing some a lot of stuff with this work and everything. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, everybody, and welcome to an Xbox gameplay, guys. So I don't actually know if you guys can basically hear me right now or whatnot. But for some reason, my capture card is not letting me record voice. I gotta see what's going on with the mic situation. Um. But yeah, it's honestly not letting me do anything, and I really don't like that at all. But guys, we've got our Xbox controller here, and as you can see on the screen, Halo 4. Um, I really hope this does sync up. Um, this would be nice if it did. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to hit Infinity. Um, we're going to hit War Games, Find a Game. And I think we're going to go into some classic, uh, let's do some classic big team battles, guys. So this is a classic game, and basically what we're going to be doing in it. And I don't know if we are still recording. Yeah, we still are. Okay, cool. Um, this is a classic game, basically, uh, that we just, there's two teams, either blue or red. You fight to the death and just get as many kills as you can, or as many points, basically. Um, so this is the big team battle, and we're going to see what goes down. Sometimes on, there is, like, a capture the fly, like a neutral flag mode. So sometimes that's it. But we're going to see what goes down on this. I don't know exactly what's going to go on, but we're going to see at least. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the other parts of my video. Um, this has been a lot of fun making it. I really am upset that the HD video capture card does not work. I want to see what is going on with the microphone. If I can find a microphone that has the same qualities that I need for this. That's what I want to see. Um... But yeah, yeah, I do want to see that and see what goes down with that, what happens. Why it's not working, I do not know. Um, but anyway, we are uh, we got people incoming, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh, good. All players are incoming. We got 16 out of 10. So that means that we're going to have 8 teams of 8, which is good because the max amount of teams is the bit. The, the better, the more players, the better. Always. Every time we you have that. Oh, um, guys, I think we're going to go for Exile. Because Exile is a really cool map. I like doing that big team battles. Because a lot of times with the uh, it's Infinity Slayer, guys. So you get the sticky grenades. And then you roll up in like a Warthog or a Mongoose. That's what you really do, guys. Is you like beat up your Mongoose as much as you can. 
and then you get it to like almost redlining and then you take a sticky detonator throw it on the front and then you literally just ride it into traffic and have people just shoot at you and it blows up and the sticky detonator will blow up too making it an even bigger explosion so you can do a suicide bombing kind of um i like to do that because there's no weapons on the thing like you can't shoot anything until you have any but another person behind you like on the back of it so you can't do anything so that's what i like to do with the warthogs and stuff is just go do that and then sometimes what i'll do is i'll jump out and i'll blow it up so then it will just ride into a bunch of people that's what you can do you can just like drive down this giant straight away jump out and then when it rolls into the people blow it up or what you can do is you can have it parked there just sitting there and then you can just blow it up like that so there's a lot of ways you can use stick denders to do that but it's time um you have to get to a thousand points i'm on the blue team, guys um we are gonna go with my classic hit of oh okay uh, we're going to drive the people get in get in people okay we're going in we're going in Stop, 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 stop. 
I had a distraction free, I had a distraction, I could care less, guys. That's annoying. Okay, let's get in the boat. I'm gonna start rolling out with people. Let's do this, guys. Okay, let's move, let's move, let's move. see what time is okay cool we still we we were done 12 minutes it's totally fine guys okay so basically yeah it's been pretty cool it's been pretty cool that was a really good uh that was a really good thing guys i think we did a great job on that okay so what do we got right now what do we got 
Uh, Big Team Infinity Slayer Total XP 2426. Okay, guys, I think that's cool. Okay, we did not reach 32. As you can see, guys, um, it's very hot in this room right now. Um, okay, so I think that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, guys, basically, I think right now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to uh, end this episode here. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to definitely smash that like button down below. Comment, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start off our awesome sub shout-out, guys. Basically, this is a shout-out to all of my subs who have made me get that 30. Obviously, it's not 30, but you know. Um, guys, you have been really good supports to me. Um, I really appreciate it. I cannot wait till I get to my next milestone of 50 subs, guys. But I hope you look like this little um, time where I'm talking and everything. I hope you like the music, all that good stuff, guys. So we're going to go right on into it, and we're going to start talking. So, are you guys ready? Drum roll, please. No, I'm not going to drum roll. Okay, let's do this. Garrett Hurst. James Plays Cod. Addison Wiseman. John Fred. Assortment Productions. Paradox Gaming. Natalie Slate Connor Eslich Zaven Taylor Tech Turtles Josh Ford Jackson Hale 12 Hawes Plays The Slither Monster Kevin Henderson so much.